Today we're here to commemorate Arik Hirsch and to unveil the sculpture of him and the, the painting that Victoria Perloff did. Over the last 22 years he's been a volunteer at the UK National Holocaust Centre where as a Holocaust survivor he's come to speak, share his story with school children, to travel uh, to Poland, to take trips, to be involved in training teachers. He's done wonderful volunteer work. The National Holocaust Centre was established by myself and my brother James uh, in 1995 in order very specifically to ensure that there was a place, a public place of remembrance of the Holocaust in the United Kingdom. A thousand of children come over, come to see it and to listen to survivors and so on. The way in which Eric has uh, come week after week uh, for years pouring out his story, pouring out his soul to share, not because it was a terrible period of history, but because, first of all, he personally wants the remembrance of his own family, which in itself is important, but he wants children to learn how to build a better uh, future. As a child, he lost over 80 members of his family, uh, was the sole survivor of his family, um, and yet went to go on to build you know, a wonderful life in South Yorkshire and contribute greatly to his community. And he's, he's a very, really inspiring individual. The sculpture is remarkable because I know Eric really well. And as I saw her working on the sculpture live, I thought, well, yeah, it's going to be really difficult to capture what I've learned over 20 years in two hours. And yet somehow she's just gone deep into his soul. She's, she's so gifted. We're, we're honoured to have you know, a sculpture um, by Francis. There's lines in his face that I think if he hadn't gone through what he went through, he wouldn't have. Um, his whole face tells his story and his history and I think Francis has captured it perfectly. I'm very happy because I've caught um, a sort of a, a pain in him and a distant look in him. Anti-Semitism has been described as the longest hatred and it's been around for thousands of years and it isn't going anywhere anytime soon. It's deeply embedded in our culture, in our language, in our religion, in our politics. I think what we have to do right now, particularly after the Holocaust, is get a new level of vigilance around that. To make sure that when we see it, when we hear it, when we even think it might be there, that we jump on that immediately and we say, this has no place in our culture and our society. I do believe that in this world, there are people who need to be very important and because of that, hatred is born. It's born from power, false power, and people feel that they have the right to take what isn't theirs. I um, grew up with my dad, who was quite young, I mean he's only 20 years older than me, but he never let me speak to German people and um, he was, it was still after the war, it was so sensitive. And I pushed all the pain away, I never wanted to know about it, you know, it was just such a terrible thing. And I couldn't read books and watch uh, films about it. And then when I was asked to do this, and I met Arik, and I realised it's got to be, it's all got to be noted. What I love about Francis' work is that it's, it's, it's raw and it's soulful. You know, she gets really into the heart of who the individual is that she uh, sculpts. She was receptive in her hands to his mood and it came through and I thought it was very beautiful. Being here today and him now being immortalised in a bust is unbelievable that in 50 years time people who were not even born yet will get to come and see him and hear his story. You know, without the survivors, this place is bricks and mortar, this place is photographs, it's artefacts. With the survivors, this has become about humanity, not about history. In my daily life at the Shoah Foundation, I'm interested in testimony and memory. This sculpture is also a form of testimony. It's not words, it's not video, but it will endure and it will keep the memory of this individual because every individual's life and their story is important.